Yeah. All right. Well, uh, you ready to take a break here and thank some more producers? Oh, yeah. This is a break. Break. Don't just consume the content, but become the content. Become the content. We're taking a, another quick break here, and we're going to thank our producers who come in with their talent. We call upon our listeners to step up and become producers of the show by contributing with their God given talent. Don't just consume the content, but actually provide value back by building the culture behind the community here at Canary Cry News Talk. All we ask is that whatever you make is for the show. And we have uh, a few things to share with you today. We're going to start with some audio production. Audio production. And today it's actually just um, some updated jingles from Psalm 40. He uh, went back and, and did some decibel boost. Uh, remember, he was having some issues with uh, some of the stuff he sent us um, being a little too quiet in the uh, in the mix there. So uh, he just says uh, peace and blessings. Don't know why, but every jingle I've sent have, uh, has had the same volume issues. Uh, yet the full length tracks come out fine. Um, uh, by the way, Psalm 40, sometimes is the, even the full length is a little bit lower than, than some other files we get. So, but it's okay. It, it is loud enough. Uh, he, he says, I did some crazy audio settings going on with my headphones and I layer many more tracks when doing jingles. So that could all explain the dis discrepancy. Uh, yeah. And depending on what, uh, DAW, that's a digital audio workstation you're using. Um, it could be some kind of mastering thing, or you can, there's different ways to make sure that the volume is up to par here, but uh, let me just play a few of them here because, um, you know, some of them may have been difficult to hear in the past. So first we have the executive producer or executive streak jingle here. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely louder. Rowdy. Yeah. Rowdy. Good stuff. Uh, he also has the... What is this one? This one is the Friday. Oh, Friday boosted. Yes. Don't learn today. Because it's Friday. You ain't got no job. And you ain't got shit. Friday. 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 You know what? I should have done this in better order here because he has another executive streak uh, boosted one. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's so exciting. Mm -hmm. uh, I like the, the, I was, I thought the way it was starting out was just the it. I was like, oh, this yeah. is nice. Yeah, I think we can and maybe then, use that top part. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then we have the cybernetic organism boosted. there you go so uh Beautiful. yeah some of them are maybe you might be familiar with but a uh, little volume boost thank you very much psalm 40 appreciate it mm -hmm. and yeah these are things that we can use as part of the show and uh, whether in transition or just a jingle for a topic um so they're very useful to us so we appreciate all of the producers who come in with their audio production uh, but that is it for the audio. We got some art to do. One art, please. <laughs> and we kick it off with Dame Alley of the Skillet Nation. One art, please. One art, please. Another one from Alley now. Here it he is. Hmm. I, I love hate this to one. be this guy, Gons, but I do. Uh, we did miss uh, some, at least one jingle. So we we'll we'll put it on the next show. Yeah. Is this when did it when just come in? Uh, uh, 10 15 a.m. Oh, well, that might have been why. Okay. I don't even see an email from 10 15 a.m. Well, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I'm looking at it right here. It's from I'm sure Davey you are. Frost. I, I believe you. I believe you. It's from Davy Frost. So that's okay. We'll, okay. we'll catch him on Friday. Sorry about that, Davy. Yeah, sorry, Davy. I, I literally looking at the email and I don't see it. So, okay. Uh, we'll figure that out. Sorry about that. He's we'll definitely catch you. He's not figuratively looking at the email. No, I'm literally looking yeah, at I know. Uh, the email I'm list. And you said 10, 15. There's an email at 10, 07. The next one Guns, is 11, 13. Let's go, bro. Just telling you, telling you what I'm saying, man. 
That is what this show is about. Uh huh. It is. All right. So, uh, Dame Alley of the Skillet Nation, great job here uh, with a Tucker Carlson portrait, but uh, it was accompanied by a Dame Epony Blaze haiku. All tuckered out. Tucker Carlson's friend. Right wing conspiracy dude. Alex Jones fallout. Two years of emails. Highly embarrassing. If publicly mm. revealed. Turned over to House Select Committee. Probing Jan 6 uprising. Yes, and we have another wonderful pencil uh, portrait headshot here of Tucker Carlson <clears throat> making that Tucker Carlson face we all love so much. He's got that furrowed brow, the mouth agape, the hair is his hair, and uh, <laughs> it's beautiful. His eyes are that of a lizard. Um, and got some highlights from a story that they mentioned here. Fox News host Tucker Carlson is extremely worried that texts he exchanged with Alex Jones will leak, according to a Fox News source. Carlson and the right wing conspiracy theorists trade text messages on a daily basis. And they say those communications would be highly embarrassing for the Fox News host if they were publicly revealed. Two years worth of messages sent and received by Jones have been turned over to the House Select Committee investigating the Jan 6 insurrection. Whoa, that would be embarrassing. Probably even more embarrassing because they're not very interesting. Yeah. They're probably just like, hey, bro, how you doing? Oh, you catch the game? No. No, man. I don't know what the voice is I'm doing here. (laughs) The Alex uh, Jones voice? Yeah. They're probably talking about maybe they're like online dating profiles or something. The lizard people coming after me in court. Thank you for... (laughs) Thank you very much, Dame Allie and Dame Epony Blaze. Appreciate it. Next up, we have Sir Dove Knight of Ruspeltia. One art piece from Dave Here's a note piece for this week's NWO Fantasy League update. We've got some more promotional artwork after the humans quarterback Zuck fumbles the ball at the goal line. The queen sees it and scoops up the pigskin, carrying it in for a touchdown then proceeds to rub it in the opposition or uh, sorry rub it in the opposing fans faces by doing her signature dance the lizzie shuffle the lizzie shuffle do the lizzie shuffle looking great for 96 the queen credit credits Lun- lunarade with helping her still put on peak athletic performance hope you guys like it keep doing what you do and i'll keep praying for hens dove <laughs> thank you very much sir dove and yes here we are it is it is lizzie doing the lizzie shuffle <laughs> she's so agile for her age number yes. 96 she's got the human logo on the side of her helmet the lizard with the circle with the cross through it uh, or with the line through it a badge on her jersey she's sticking out her tongue taunting the opposition her lizard eyes glaring in the sun and little baphomet earrings little there little baphomet fun. earrings are cool and got the, uh-huh. her, her teeth are you know the the teeth have this yeah. jagged sort of they're lizardy, sharpened. Uh, sharpened yeah yeah they're sharpened um, to a point and you know you there is a a little uh, a little Easter egg in here in the back. The referee, googly eyes. Oh, googly eye referee. You know what's so funny? Mm. I kn- I didn't look very close at him, but mm-hmm. I kind of in my periphery, I saw him back there. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, Dove does these sort of mixed medium pieces where right. the the background is is a live image, like from an actual football game, and so the the referee is not animated. Uh. But out of my periphery, I just kind of thought, I just felt like something was off with that guy back there. <laughs> <laughs> now that I zoom in, yes, he has hilarious googly eyes. Wow, that's that's some self-reflection right there. I think when mm-hmm. people kind of just see you on the periphery of their phones oh, or yeah. computer no, screens. I make, I make people very uneasy. Yeah. And uh, we got the NWO Fantasy League uh, logo there in the corner, which gives me a great reason to plug the NWO fantasy league that's nwofl.com go check it out go sign up 
for the first season of the New World Order Fantasy League. Don't know what that is? Well, go to nwofl.com and learn about it. And then uh, put in your email there and get in line, baby, because it's going to be awesome. It is a New World Order Fantasy League. They're all 100% eugenics, transhumanist lizards that control everything. They hate you. <laughs> That they do. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Sir Dove. Appreciate it. We have a couple pieces here from David C. And um, David C. has a note here. And, you know, you and I, Basil, we're still kind of going back and forth on the whole AI, AI generated art. art. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is an example of that. And um, the note reads, well, I know you two keep updated on, on all the latest AI news. Well, I thought I'd share some art generated by AI for the show. I came across a fairly new AI generator bot called mid journey. It can be found at the address midjourney.com. Currently it's only in beta. The results are quite stunning. Not too long ago, the AI art generation was rather laughable. This bot produces some crazy, amazing stuff. Anyway, I've included a few of these AI generation, uh, AI generated things. Um, you can see the keywords that prompted the generation of the file names. Maybe the audience would be interested to try and try it as it's currently free to yeah. use in the beta. Yeah. So. Yeah. This is an interesting one. Midjourney.com. This, uh, this is some of the best AI art I have seen. Most of the AI art is too weird, too trippy, too spooky, right. yeah, it's all too swirly. abstract to mm-hmm. really kind of fully appreciate. Now, this is a bit of a different story. Um, we only we did only grab a couple of these um, for f- I don't know for reasons. Uh, we're still kind of trying to figure out if AI art belongs on the show, but as of now, the according to the mainstream articles that we read, they do technically still count as art because the person who prompts them uh is considered an artist so Mm -hmm. thank you david c um i picked a couple of them let's start with the cyborg one yeah i'm showing it now it's a cyborg with googly eyes well neo yeah so this was uh the prompt was canary cyborg with googly eyes was the prompt here i Ah, think um oh kind of hard to there's there's a little bit more i mean there's eyes neo punk high d i don't know if that's part of it yeah i think maybe those were like keywords that he could choose or something Ah, i'm not exactly sure but you know you look at this and for those who are just listening it is more or less the face of a canary Mm -hmm. uh, with a tiny little robot body, Mm -hmm. very high quality in in the graphics. You know, most of these um, AI art things are sort of, they kind of look like smudgy paintings. Yeah, it's more abstract. This is more right clear cut this, yeah this is sort of uh realistic like photo realism yeah and it's got a hyper photo realistic little bird body on the bottom and a gigantic canary head and it's got two humongous cyborg eyes um which are sort of a cyborgy version of googly eyes very yeah. i mean it's it's a pretty it's like it looks like a screen capture from like a really well done independent sci-fi movie. Uh, it's really, it's pretty interesting. I'm probably going to go play around with this one because uh, it's much more compelling than, than uh, what's the other one? Dolly 2. Right. Uh, so very fun. Thank you for that, Dave. The second one here. Uh, the one I have is uh, this Conspiracy. One yeah. Conspiracy Canary. Conspiracy Canary. It is just a straight up headshot shoulders up this one is more in sort of a painting uh style but still very very formed it's got a form to it Uh, unlike dolly paintings that have almost no form to them and it is a big yellow canary uh light lit from the top and the lighting is well placed uh regular beak two horrifying black black eyes eyes like uh like the shape of a gray alien's yeah, eyes I was gonna say, sort the, of the, the, alien yeah. shaped eye and they're humongous and this one spooked the pants off me which is why i was impressed and wanted to bring it to the show and then right right in between the eyes right in the middle above the beak 
there's sort of like a third eye, like creepy, tiny little third eye where the, the beak meets the face. It was horrifying, but um, very compelling piece of AI art here. Thank you very much for this, David. Yeah, thank you, David C. And yeah, if, if, there are, if it's compelling enough, we will share it. But uh, It yeah, was certainly compelling, yeah. Yeah. So appreciate that. Thank you very much. That does it for the artwork. Uh, we do have a couple of microfiction today. Microfiction. Microfiction. And the first one comes from Runk Smash. Monitoring the comms traffic, IRS agent Brown hears the dark chants from the white desert. Acting fast, he sends an encrypted message to his higher-ups with a secret BCC to his favorite podcast. Then he heads to the armory for his scary assault rifle. Well, that's that's one of those that don't won't make sense unless you're really we, listening oh, to the show. Oh, this one was great. We got a man on the inside. We got IRS agent Brown. He's a producer of the show, keeping us abreast of what's going on. In this case, it seems like the IRS uh, mission creep has affected the <laughs> IRS in this world, where the IRS agent Brown is now uh, sort of charged with listening in to Antarctic uh comms <laughs> encrypted communications coming from the antarctic and uh yeah so some <laughs> seems to be some uh militant training for yes. this irs agent of course we know they have the budget for that now yeah, yeah. thank you very much runk smash thank you runk smash we also got one from executive producer the sentinel Ah, and yes. And he had a quick note to go with it, and then we can do the microfiction. I don't know if the note is very important. Uh, it's not. He just said he's back stateside. Oh, he that note. He finished uh, up the House of Skaten micro macro fiction. Uh, so he's he actually gave all of it to us. We're going to do one by one per episode here. Uh, but here mm -hmm. we go. This is... Uh, what's, we're what's back. We're back to the storyline yeah. of the Church of Skaten. So right. thank you very much, The Sentinel. Here we go. Basil is in a one-on-one -on -one elimination match with an alpha boy. They battle for points by performing tricks, completing laps, and winning the crowd by any means. Basil leaps in the air and does a 360 spin, sticks the landing, and accelerates to complete a speed lap. The judges award him two points. The alpha boy attempts a similar move, but his ankles give out as he lands and he stumbles to the side of the rink. The crowd gasps. Basil sees his opportunity to strike. The alpha boy is scrambling to recover. Basil skates by and grabs the alpha boy. It looks like he's about to push him off to perform another trick the audience watches with suspense. But instead, Basil pulls the alpha boy aside him, beside him and helps him get back to skating. The crowd lets out a big, Aww. with kindness as Basil secures his place in the finals. But the alpha boys have different plans. And you're trying to be a, a, a good Heart Samaritan. Of Heart of gold, that skater Basil. Yeah, I love it. Thank you very uh, much, the Sentinel. Looks like nice guys finished last. We've got some Proving plans. that you can be a good skater and a good person. <laughs> and maybe be taken out by the Alpha Boys. We'll have to oh, see how we'll this see. all plays out. Thank Indeed. you very much sweep, to all the producers for coming with their talent. Uh, that is it for okay the talent yes i do see we um had some late entries uh for the art section we'll cover those on friday thank you for sending those in uh and if you are a creative person an artistic person somebody who, even if you're not those things and you just want to take your best stab at it or maybe you are a child or have a child that can make something adorable for all of us to ooh and ah 
at. Uh, go ahead and send that in to Canary Cry Radio at gmail.com uh, artist submission portal soon to come so keep an eye out for that announcement but for now you can email it all to canarycryradio at gmail.com uh, there you go 